And in my opinion, the only way that women are going to get equal rights is by uh, really being active about it. Women have too long simply sat back and waited for something to happen. Well, things don't happen by waiting for it. Uh, you know, President Kennedy never would have found me uh, down here in Texas if I hadn't told him that I was here. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you know, women, I think, stand just about where the Negro did 40 years ago. <laughs> as far as public stuff, um, office is concerned. Gene, would you rather have 28 rebounds or 29 points? I'd rather really have 28 rebounds. So that's, that's the main, <laughs> that's what I really like to do, rebound. You had 13 points too last 13 night. 13 points, uh huh. But I'd rather have the rebounds. Is Simpson any good on rebounding? Oh, he's real good on rebounding because when they close me out underneath, he's there. Simpson, let me ask you, would you rather have 29 points? Or 28 rebounds. Well, tell us about it out, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> How many but rebounds did you get last night? I got nine last night, and uh, I was a little disappointed in myself. I should have got more than nine. But uh, he was doing most of the rebounding anyway, and I was doing just fast breaking. You know, he was the main reason that we, you know, just because he was rebounding, we just fast breaked on him and everything. They just couldn't stop us, and they wasn't getting back. And they was all over before they knew it, you know, they was out the game. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, <laughs> How high can you go, Eugene, when you have to? Oh, I don't know really, but one day when, you know, when season started, uh, that was, it was in about September, and I went up to 13-1. I was out of shape and all that, and Simpson went to 13-2. And so, um, really, I believe I could get a little higher than he can. <laughs> <laughs> you going to dispute that, Simpson? <laughs> I don't know. He can jump, and I think I can jump, too, so I don't know. Well, let's get uh, let's look down the line now. You've got some tough away uh, from home games coming up, don't you? After yeah. the Rice game, of course. Oh, yeah, we play Baylor and SMU. And, uh, well, I think, you know, the biggest problem with us is we just go and play as a team and uh, don't have make that many mistakes like turnovers and everything. I think that uh, we could, uh, you know, win. That's the way I feel about it because I think if we just, you know, shoot, if we are, because I don't think nobody can really, you know, stop us on the board because, uh, well, SMU, they don't have no really no, no big men. And, uh, I don't think they can stop Goo on the boards or me either. And Baylor, well, they got Chapman, you know, but I don't think they can stop both of us, you know. I think that's a big factor of the game, you know, rebound. I think it's a bigger factor than scoring myself because if you get the rebound, it's just lack of score, like 20 rebounds. That's, I would say that's 56 points, you know, or something like that. That's well, what I feel about it. if they miss a goal and you get the rebound, it's almost like a turnover, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's really just like a turnover. Where did you get the nickname of Goo? Oh, really? I got that name when I was about one year old. And that's, that's all I know about it, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that the jury is completely unqualified to sentence, and that by all means, the uh, um, judge should be the uh, sentencing. After having had a report from the probation officer, after consulting with the probation officer, uh, they are much better qualified than uh, a jury is to uh, sentence. Uh, this, the new uh, penal code does uh, repeal the uh, statute with reference to capital punishment. I'm certainly in favor of that. Capital punishment does not deter. It's uh, just a matter of uh, retribution. And uh, uh, I myself would never feel that I was wise enough to inflict the death penalty on somebody and say that that person should not live any longer. The president's span of control has become wider and wider. It's been necessary to greatly increase the executive staff in order to handle the decision making that this involves. Uh, anyone who studied management uh, realizes that uh, if you're going to be efficient, you must reduce the span of control so that the 
top executives can spend more time with those who are in charge of the various programs, and that's the intent. And so as a citizen of...